All right, hello and welcome to week. What is it? What? Yep, week six, six of Allies six. of Justice Requiem. How's everybody doing? Pretty good. Pretty Great. Good. Fantastic. Kind of sleepy. Fabulous. Sorry about being late. <laughs> Alive and well. All of my body parts are attacked. So it starts. Hey, I gotta get a leg up in life somehow. We're gonna run out of those jokes eventually, don't worry. We will never. No, we're not. (laughs) I think you underestimate us. Don't be too crabby about this. Honestly, don't think we have a leg up on this situation, if you ask me. Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> God, it's so beautiful. But, we're gonna go ahead and just jump into this, so <coughs> it can make up for lost, lost time. time. Yep. Where we pick up today is approximately two days <coughs> after the last campaign. The group has gone through the rigors of life here in Arturo. On their first day here, Tide informing him that he gave Yashua a proper burial at sea, accompanied with the woman that they met before, Kala, stating that she would get back to them in two days' time, that she was doing something that was of paramount importance and couldn't be interrupted. So, with the time, the party has spent the last days really digesting everything that's happened, coping with the idea of having someone so young die within their care, and another one of them being permanently injured and scarred for what looks like the rest of his life. During which, some of them made time to do a little recreational work for themselves. Others spending the time to gain more information in their specific position. Kronk taking the time to note that the crabs that... Actually, I don't think Adze told you about that yet, did you? In I, terms of crabs? I before yeah. that actually happened. In so terms of the crabs thing, I would have told them the day after once we slapped, okay. I would have mentioned that. So, with the crabs in question, you would have found out that they're further south from Elp. Along a Do they have an official of... name? The official name is... Let me go back up to the PC area. I'll get it to you when we get to there, but you know more information about the crabs. That you actually found out today you're making your way back to the group in the hut that you guys rented from Mama Babadook just so you can stay within the area. And speaking of Mama Babadook, <laughs> later on the second day, you saw her returning back. Apparently her snake with her. She looked a little roughed up, but enough to still be alive. Oh my gosh! <laughs> but after all of that, okay. it's now the start of the third day as the sun crests through the cracks of the thick overbrush or underbrush. Crump, you making your solitary return back to the group as you see Bear currently doing his what has been so far daily morning exercises Connor sitting outside on a down tree currently reading through a book and Adze still inside and Crystal looking to just be sitting on the like, front of this little walkway going inside the hut as we open up our scene here the atmosphere 
much like it's been in Arturo. It's been a slogging, like, 90 plus degrees Fahrenheit. It feels more like you guys are sitting in a melting pot instead of an atmosphere as the humidity kind of sucks at you and just makes everything even more miserable than it needs to be aided to the fact that the breeze is completely stagnant as you're staying in here in the forest after your couple of like your first week being here you've started to accommodate better with the forest in Arturo all the awkward sounds and the alien movements that haunted you at first becoming a little bit more used to them as the sounds of Kronk, his heavy axe hitting against his leg would echo, gain your all attention as he approaches. Does Adze pop out of the hut? Well, in the meantime of this, Adze would have asked everyone if he could borrow the sleeping bags. He wants to try to practice trying to just walk with the walking stick just so he doesn't have to lean on someone. Should I roll a balance check for that? And then tumble to make sure that I actually land on the sleeping bags? <laughs> yeah, you can. Okay. <laughs> we have so sleep minus 15 and everything like that, I know. Uh, yes, yes, we do. <laughs> Adze has been spending his time uh, so that's a four two. hours a day learning how to walk with one leg. <laughs> with a stick. Eight more days. <laughs> with a stick. <laughs> you just need eight more days. You get a couple of steps, more than what you started before when you had initially lost your leg, but inevitably you do tumble again. So actually, Croc, when you're making your approach, you probably hear a soft curse of as a cursing inside the hut. The rest Shit. of the party is still visible outside. Hey, hey Adze! Yeah, Croc! Come on, come on, get out of here. I got some great news. Connor looks up from his book, stares at Kronk. And he's silent. <laughs> Crystal will sigh and go in there and help Adze up. Thanks, Crystal. <laughs> okay, what's up? As I guess we come out of the doorway. On my way back here, I finally found some new information about that crab Todd told you about. Oh. What about it? Turns out they reside a bit further south from here. We can get your leg fixed up. Did you happen to meet anyone who actually had one of these crab legs? Because I wanted to Talked to one of them, just making sure that I understood what I was in for. Hey, hey, sorry, sorry. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I mean, we all knew where that was going. Did, did I? Did I meet an, an amputee? You didn't find any amputee, but you did get information that I'm about to post up here soon. Okay. But on other news, you also would be the first one to know about Mama Babadook's condition in return. But, but didn't she return yesterday? Definition? Did I, say, I meant to say she returned today, on the third day. Ah, okay. All right, all right, all right. On the third day, she returned. Sorry. <laughs> and then there was water. I focused. Right. All right. I was like, well... Unfortunately, no. But, but on even better news, Babadook's still alive. I'm sorry. She's she is. That's great. That's amazing. Uh, Connor looks over to Croc. Uh, you found her then, the woman that you were looking for. That's lucky. I was sure she was gonna be dead. She came back with her, with her snake, but on her own. He kind of frowns. He says, mm, "Just shrugs after." Well, I wasn't there. She came back, but she's 
So he's definitely back home now. Okay, well, at least that's Oop. something. Do you think she'll be angry with us? I hope not. It's it's hard to tell there. Because we we basically just gave up on her. Well, unfortunately, when half of our power gets down, it's very hard to do much. Anyway, um, exactly. Uh, so what's what do you think we should do about this crab thing? You think we should just go after it, even in my condition? Do you think I should stay here or? <laughs> oh, kind of looks Sorry. up to Ed and he says, "You have not been making much progress in walking and maneuvering on your own, have you?" No, I haven't. Um, would, would, would I would I know more more or less where they are precisely? Okay. Uh, oh. With the condition you're in, I can't see much benefit of bringing you along. Perhaps we could find the crab ourselves and then return to you with the rewards we have someone from it. Oh, it's okay. Bear could carry him. But then, when does it? I mean, Bear, you're, you tend to be someone who g- kind of gets up close and personal with these things. I don't think you'd want me to be on you, or I don't think I would want to be on you when that happens. Oh, just think happens. about it, I'd say. You could ride on my shoulders, and then you could have your bow and your arrow, and you could shoot the crabs, and then I'll charge them. We'll be like a team. Uh, well, but but bear, remember we're we're not supposed to kill it. Just need its leg, its claw. But crab, I believe it was the claw. Do we really need the whole claw? Well, you have the information, so Knight, do we need the whole claw? Like it was the claw, right? It was it wasn't the leg. It was the, the claw? claw I is used to make pretty decent prosthetics. Exactly. So. You don't need this whole body, but... Yeah. Like, not more, the... more specifically, what is the limb on the crab that we need? The for claw. His leg in particular. The claw. The claw. Like, right, now, legs this... are like the little things on the bottom. Right. The claws are the pincers. That's what you need. Right, but thanks, thanks to the schematics of crabs, is it the big one or is it the smaller one? Oh. Fair enough. <laughs> Excuse me. So I'm pretty sure one of those is going to be worse. <laughs> well... I mean, like, some crabs have pretty big hands. I mean, crabs, don't they normally have, like, a, a bigger claw and then a smaller claw? Some do. Some have the same, I believe. Yeah, some have the same. Oh, I thought that there. was, I thought that was, like, all of them. No, no Most of them just some. Of the same size. Thanks for getting a fight on Pokemon. I think it might be best. Yeah, unfortunately, I think that's where I'm getting that from. <laughs> Uh, Crabby. I, 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 I think I think it might be best if I stay behind. If it's all the same to you all, I don't. I believe I'd be more of a burden than any help to you. But how are we supposed to measure your leg? If we get the wrong size claw, then it will be useless. We can measure it right here, right now. You can keep the stick that you measure me with. Connor says to the rest of the party as this is going on, uh, perhaps fitting would be more something to do after we have the raw materials. Then again, I'm trying to... Th- then again, you might guys might need someone to help you track something like that. Yeah. No, I I know pretty much where they're located in general, but we are going to need someone to take down or at least distract whatever family it will have. Well, I'm not going to be good at distraction since I can't run away. (laughs) Well, at the very least. 
We could put you in the back while they're fighting, and I could put my shield up around you and try to keep you safe, if that'll be better. I mean, Gup Gup was able to pass through that. What's to say that these crabs won't be able to? Well, good Gup, point. Gup Gup's our ally. They're not necessarily evil. Perhaps we can find a sheer cliff to face you against. It should be fairly easy to keep you out of danger, as long as we are aware of the danger before it comes to us. Okay. Maybe if you like put me up in a tree, if that's anywhere near there, that might be help. But okay, I'll Regardless come with you. We, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll come with you to help you track, and then I'll just stay in the background and look. And, Look in on you, making sure that everything goes okay. <laughs> Not that I could do anything. Before we agree upon the path of violence, I have been doing some thinking, and I've consulted some of my books, and I may or may not have discovered some things about the crabs. Would I be able to roll a knowledge nature now? Please, GM. Yes. I mean, you can. Sure. <laughs> I would like to see if I know anything about the crabs. Uh, more specifically, like their not their behaviors but like if anything could like maybe knock them out put them to sleep like do they get sleepy when like it's really cold outside or like stuff like that yeah go ahead yeah <laughs> oh my god <laughs> no that's not the what thief about fuck it. that little thief <laughs> no fuck what? he did not have that naturally he stole that <laughs> No, I don't think he stole it from us. I never said... <laughs> Hold on, is any of my inventory missing? Not that you know of. <laughs> Alright, he didn't steal it from me. <laughs> so, Connor, Guys. you're able to gather pretty much everything that I already told Anthony. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah, but you can really mention stuff that he hasn't said yet. In the yes, uh, Crabulus Mortalis is their name. Uh, says here in this genealogy book I have. <laughs> no, like that he wrote in the chat. Mark, like, yeah, I don't remember they're, that. They're though, called, as well the Coral Light like, Crabs. It's written in chat. You don't need to remember it. Yeah, um, he'll spout off some information, but uh, apparently. They are nocturnal, as he says, and that's good because it at least rectifies that we're dealing with the same species. Uh, and he says, we should be able to trust the information that Kronk has developed for us. So, there we go. Then he so, looks out sheepishly. Books. So we can probably be able to sneak up on it at night? No, no, no. They are nocturnal. I'm sorry, not night, in the day. Sorry, that's the exact <laughs> opposite of what I wanted to say. Sorry. I just woke up. <laughs> I think all this well, blood loss has turned his brain around. Yeah. I think it might be the falls that he's taken since. Yes, very much. These things are nocturnal. We should sneak up on them at night. Connor kind of stands up, uh, brushes himself off, and says, Well, no point in wasting the day away. You know, walk over to Ed's and put his own What time is it right now? Morning. Morning? It is. Okay. Yeah, morning. Uh, yeah, we should probably start making our way. I think me just leaning on someone is going to slow us down, so. Someone help me on Bear. <laughs> okay, well, Connor will assist you, cobble over to Bear. Come here, and say, uh, I'll give you a berry back. <laughs> the bareback ride. He's riding me bareback. <laughs> <laughs> so, carrying him bare, Adze, you have a weight I have a con of, seven. I know. Okay. So, he has a weight of 14. Encumbrance, <laughs> which you should be able to do fine with your strength of nine, and I don't think you're carrying anything else of real substance. So, not nothing else. 
cool. <laughs> so this works out. All right. I got ten strength now. Mm. So yeah, definitely won't bother with that. So yeah, whoever's leading the way to um, I believe you said you you guys talked about South of El Pearl Bay. Yeah. Yeah, I want to do um actually a knowledge of geography. See if I know a a fairly decent path that'll get us there with less endurance. When you're spending the time talking to people, you eventually found that leading down the way down the uh, beach is a particularly safe way as long as you stay away from any wildlife that comes out of the water. Go ahead and RP for a moment. My mom's calling me. Okay. So I guess we're making our way along the beach now. Yeah, I gotta <laughs> yeah no. <laughs> as long as we stick to the beach and try to avoid whatever comes up from out of there, we should be able to reach a cove. Oh. Guys, I- yeah, go ahead, Bear. Have, have you have you noticed that Gub Gub is Mitch now? Oh, is Gub Gub with us, by the way? He should be, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he should he's be. With us. He's probably staying pro- probably a little clear from a bear since he almost killed him. So he's probably just been hiding behind anyone he can possibly find. Well, Bear's pretty much been the only person who's actually been nice to Gub Gub the most. He's but given him the then. most attention. Yeah. I've, I've been... I've been and nice. He's actually in... been the only one who's fed him. He, that's true. <laughs> so like, like it's it's <laughs> in abundance. <laughs> Speaking of this, uh, but, uh, is he a captive of yours? I know you said he's a pet, but he doesn't look very willing to be here. I'm. Well, you know, he is. Gub Gub is very happy. <laughs> he looks over to Gub Gub. He's got a black eye. <laughs> <laughs> Just cry. <laughs> it's a very long story. I love how Bear is turning into an abusive <laughs> husband. It's a crush. <laughs> <laughs> but for the long, long story short, Gob Gob is our our clan's carp carpenter. I guess we'll call it. Carpenter. Sure, let's go with that. <laughs> oh, he's than very of, useful. Better than what any of us can do. So we're currently talking about Gub Gub. Yeah. Uh, night. So. Is he with us? <coughs> yes. Yes, he is with us. I'm asking the. Be at the place unless you forced him out. <coughs> oh, okay. Someone got dumped. <laughs> Poor Gub Gub. What it really is is that he's staying at a used shelter now because I would try to, to have rolled a diplomacy. Say yes, like, hey, yes, make a decision so we can move past. I was, I, 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 w- I would have asked him to come with <laughs> us, considering no, no just... force him to come or not. <laughs> to at least to the cabin, whether he was going to <laughs> stay at the cabin or come with us. His decision to... was to stay. It's either you force him or not. At the cabin or the hotel. Stay at the hotel. Said, you're forcing Make a decision, man. He does not I would not. Go. I would not have forced him. Bear would have forced him. <laughs> that's that's my bear. <laughs> Come on, gob gob! I pick him up and just take him with us. Bear, no. Gob gob! Where did you get all of this money from? You have more than I had, and I bought all of these hats. So he would have been brought back against his will. Oh my god. With you guys remaining quiet and most of the time just brooding. I would take some solemn glances over at GovGov and look over to Bear. Is he currently with us while we're traveling to the crab? I'm assuming so. Yes. Okay. Uh, Where is exactly like the 
crux in like our turns of like walking. So like yeah. hanging towards the back, the left, yeah. near bear. Uh, he was well, with bear, I thought. I think I like to think that he's like moping about and like dragging his feet, so he's like a few feet behind bear, maybe. In which case, uh, Connor's gonna kind of sidle up to him and he's gonna say, "You there, Crux? You do not look like you want to be here." Lot of money for that room. Uh, yes, they were quite expensive, and then he kind of gets like a wistful look in his eyes as he's talking to him about it. I really would like to stay on that. Pint- I'm mean, sorry, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Uh, why have you come with us if you do not wish to be here? And he, said, and he looks over at Bear. I know the big one is pushy, but surely you you can leave if you need to. Kill Gub Gub like all big bosses. Uh, he looks over at Bear, like skeptically, his eyes rising a little bit in concern, and he says, That will not happen, Crux. I, Bad. for myself, will not allow that to happen at least. Bear, Bear, and gives Gub Gub a kiss. Oh, Gub Gub, I'm so happy you're home. And I keep. With my, oh my by God. the way, with my passive listen of, let me see. My passive listen of these rude ass motherfuckers. He's of seven. Am I able to hear all of that? Since he was doing it, hush the no. Okay. Uh, Connor will look to uh Gub Gub and he will say, "If you really wish to leave, you you should do so at your earliest convenience." Uh, I will not allow you to be killed for expressing your freedom. If I leave, Gub Gub will just get killed by a bigger big boss. It doesn't matter. He kind of sighs heavily. Oh, Connor kind of uh, just looks at him, uh, gives him a look of pity and says, Well, you are not willing to help yourself. And then he'll like pick up a little bit, walk closer to the group. How far away is it? Gub Gub's getting tired. You, you sure it's just Gub Gub getting tired and not you? <laughs> I mean, maybe me a little bit too, but mainly Gub Gub. <clears throat> well, we we should be we should be almost there. Just just a little longer, okay, Bear? Uh, the path that we're traveling along is kind of like a short little walk through a forest area to the beach. Is that right? We're, we're traveling along the beach. Oh, along the beach. Okay, so... Yeah. Uh, There's no forest. Connor will be keeping his eye out towards the water in concern, remembering the night that happened two days ago where there was a gigantic beast inside the sea. Uh, he'll be glancing at it warily, uh, hoping beyond hope that nothing... Tremendous comes out of it. He has a big fear of sea monsters. I probably do. Yeah, I probably do the same thing. Make a spot check out on the sea. Just like, okay. (laughs) (laughs) Negative four for you. (laughs) My god, look at the seagull. (laughs) The other direction. (laughs) It's true. He's easily distracted. That is true. (laughs) <laughs> but uh there's always the fear always the fear mm. alright oh the water Guys. looks nice <laughs> you're, you're, you're over you're over worrying things Bear's only looking for red ants Connor looks he says I have once had a terrible experience with the sea when I was younger I would not like to see it repeated well, we're what still happens? within the town's reaches. We shall be fine from anything too dangerous. What happened with the sea? Oh, well, it's just a long story, but perhaps I could tell it while we were walking. Uh, the simplified version is I traveled on a boat once with my father and his men. And well, let's say the creatures that we traveled through their hunting grounds were not pleasant. Hmm. You hunted in the sea? Oh, no, not myself. I do not fish during the daytime. 
just kind of leaves it at that. But 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 that means you can fish. Uh, any man can fish, he says. Whether they do it well or not is another matter. I speak for yourself. I've never fished in the sea. He just says, it can be quite an experience, but one I do not do often. And he kind of looks away when he's talking to you about it, and he's like, that's enough on that matter for now. Bear's a pretty good fisher. I can catch them with my paw. Well, why, why haven't we been doing that and been buying all of our fish? The kind of looks at you. You have been buying your fish, <laughs> and he says, "I just How have dried meats." The past few days, <laughs> and he says, "I've been eating my dried meats," <laughs> and you know, I purchased from the one lady a nice bowl of soup. Continue to travel as you make your way down the like, side of the water on your left, the forest a decent distance to your right, but keeping distance between both staying in the equilateral <coughs> center. As time passes, eventually one hour becomes four before you start to curve into a cut of land that looks very spear circle shaped as it kind of bends into the land shape, uh, landscape and then curves back outwards from what you were able to understand this would be the cove that you were mentioned to before and so I suddenly stop and Give a little motion to get everyone else to stop and I was like I start speaking a bit quieter saying this this is the entrance guys uh looking around at the bay are there different areas of elevation uh is it simply a sandy beach where there is a dip into the land itself nothing it more is simply a sandy Yay. Make sure you select your name at the bottom to represent your character, please. Oh, God. Say, Look at that. It's a one. You're still supposed to be the good one. <laughs> uh, oh, fur in my eyes. Uh, I don't see anything. More than Khan did. Oh, yeah. It's not my jam. It's fine. It's not necessary. There's first getting in the way. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's very windy. Yes. <laughs> I noticed. <sighs> While you make your way and look towards the cove, being pretty large and interesting at that, you take pause, Kronk, you just watch as what looks like a sail gets drugged underneath the surface of the water in the cove, and looking about, you can see debris spread across the sand of the beach. How? Like the whole sail of a ship? You just caught it before it went down fully. You're not too sure. And and just just for clarification, what is, is a cove? <laughs> it's a cut into the land. Like most beaches you see in Florida. Ooh boy. <laughs> That's that's foreboding. 
Oh boy, what's super here? Floating. <laughs> I love how he doesn't immediately jump out and panic. Oh my god, look at that ship. That's what I would do. Well, I'm the only one who saw it, so I need to I know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, but considering this map, do we see those bodies right there? You see everything you can see. Okay, then. Right, Guys, anywhere. there are bodies over there. Connor immediately uh, takes out his dark tome, starts looking around, and steps away from the water. Where, where did I see the sail happen? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Kind of moves a little bit. Somewhere afterwards. I, I, I thought, I thought something dragged it underground. Uh, I was way more concerned about that. <laughs> Connor looks right. over to the rest of the group as they move a little bit before. He says, Be careful! And he says, Shh! I, I'll stay here, I think. Guys, I think this is the side of a shipwreck. That or feeding uh, ground. If, if this... we leave the bodies, do you think the crabs will eat them? I'm yes. not even sure if they're all dead. Um, You should check make sure yeah bear if you could just make your way slowly and cautiously <clears throat> over to the bodies just to just to check oh, and while he's up. doing oh, say, perhaps you would like to get down first i would not venture closer towards the water in your condition so, bear drops that day but i see on the ground sure close to Ow. <laughs> all right and then he, he's going to like Walk on all fours. I'll go too. <coughs> they might uh, they might be alive and they might need my help. Uh, Connor says before you leave, make sure put that shield up for ads, eh? <laughs> you want me to put the shield up? I mean it doesn't there hurt. might not be anything evil here, okay? It literally I'll doesn't hurt. Okay, before you do that, okay. can I see if I could find like a boulder or like a tree stump to sit on? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So I'm not uh, right Connor's on the ground. Kind of supporting you. He's supporting you right now. Yeah. Yes. Do I see any tr tree tree trunk or boulder that's like along yeah. this? I'd say there's a rock you can sit on. <laughs> like how elevated is that rock though? Uh, it's, it's, like it's, it's, any? Not very. No. Ah. Is there anything uh, sort of elevated that I could sit on? You. you can see around you. Not around you, and I can no. see around me. Okay. All right, I guess I'll just sit right here, I guess. I'll, I'll put up my shield. There you go. All right, thank you. Holy crap, that thing is getting ridiculous now. Hey, dude, no, curiosity, how big is that head that I got? <laughs> you have a head? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, wait, what? <laughs> I'm, didn't we establish that you were not dragging yeah. that head around? Like, were we not, like... Av like adamantly telling you no you were not dragging that head around yeah um he told him that it well, was have we ever been it. back home I actually forgot I wasn't carrying that technically <laughs> what All right, never mind. happened <laughs> nothing <laughs> never mind yeah. didn't happen <laughs> you're, you're like, like you I'm surprised you're still on that fucking head <laughs> that is a trophy off of our first successful shit <sighs> Did the map just turn white for anyone else? Yeah, no, me not too. for me. Uh, not, not for me. Uh, it turned white oh, for me. Oh god, look at you guys! It's, it's terrifying. It's because they moved I'm up. I'm reloading. Oh, oh you guys have been sent somewhere new, maybe. I don't know, but uh, Connor will turn to Adze and to Kronk, who is near them, and he says, uh, "We should keep an eye out for our fellows. They are nearing the water's edge, and we do not know yet what has caused this shipwreck." Yeah, can I make like another? Whatever, whatever does that is still out there, so we should be careful. Okay. I saw it drag something under the water. Has yeah. anyone seen anything? Connor says, uh, I, "I just see the water." Can I make another spot check to look at where my friends are heading towards the people? I'd like to see if anything's moving over there among the bodies, among the sand, stuff like that. If I see any movement there that's not 
being caused by, you know, just wind rustling against, uh, you so know. You as an ambush predator blends in with the sand. <laughs> can I, can I, I can, I can do that? Okay. Is my camera still on? Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, two ones in a row, dude. <laughs> you just see them What's wrong with you? Consciously, but nothing seems to be happening. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna make a spot on the water that's in in the land. Did you tell us about the ship sail, No. You did. Oh, I didn't say the sail, but I, I said something got dragged. Uh. <clears throat> oh yeah. Kind of flash white for me just now, but I didn't um, get any. Oh wait, what? Huh? what? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I think I think he's reloading the map in particular. Okay. Mm. I had to reload my uh, the roll twenty mm. for me. Well, it seems fine for now for me. It just bugged out for like a second. <laughs> I'm gonna spot to see if I see anything. Nevin. Mm-hmm. So, what are you looking at, Kronk? <coughs> I'm looking I'm at just the, the water can't. Kronk. Sorry. <laughs> so, what are you looking I'm at, looking Kronk? At, I'm looking at the body of water inland. Just looks like a cut in the beach that is separated from the sea that has a small pool of water in it. Relatively small. Oh. But nothing moved. Nothing that you can see. Alright. Uh, seeing everyone's focus uh, heavily towards the beach and the sea, and uh, knowing that they'll more be more likely to see something rather than he- him, uh, Connor will take like a quick look over his shoulder and uh, just listen to see if anything's happening in the forest behind him. Oh, before that, what does Crystal see? Oh yeah, Crystal wrote Yeah, what did you, yeah. what are you looking for, Crystal? I'm just looking around to see if I see anything, um, important or wrong or something. I don't know, dead bodies are important. Other than the dead bodies, dude. <laughs> right. Broken wood is important. <laughs> something that you what, don't notice anything besides what's visible in the map. Yeah. Okay. Which hey. is like there is something specific there next to the bodies. Just saying. <laughs> what well, do you that think, Crystal? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Something. Something bad. Is it safe? I don't know. Connor will look towards the forest. Bear like approaches the bodies, and like he's sniffing the ground the whole time. Sand just going up into your nostrils. <laughs> Finally making your way you over ha- here, you watch as the bodies sprung out here. It looked like they just crawled themselves on shore. But what's odd is they look mangled and tattered as if something didn't like cut them up or beat them up, but or like rip them up, but something like beat them viciously as they look like they died where they laid here. Outside of that, they all seem to look Tobu. Tobu? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, the race. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> hey, These guys got... look like they got beaten. Can you guys I'm check the, um, the, the pile over there? I think I see something like around them that's a little concerning. You you know what I also see concerning, guys? What? There's a bunch of suspicious tracks leading away from the body. Yeah, that's what I was referring to. <laughs> I'm just not sure whether I could see, see, that... If it's on the map, you can see it. Okay. As it's been quoted. All right. And remember to select your character name. Uh, I just reloaded it. I, I know, it's a reminding. I'm... Gonna go check out the other bodies. I'm sure they're the same, but Connor will turn to Kronk and Edze. Perhaps we should get a little bit closer to our allies in case they need assistance. Well, we can't move this shield, so you know. We are within it, correct? He looks at so one of us. 
one of us should probably stay here next to Edze just in case. Uh, yes, I, I can hold Edze for the moment. Alright. Oh, Let me get to it. What is a bear? Do you see these big bear prints? I don't know if they're bear prints. These came from a really big bear. Much bigger than me. Can I tell what type of prince they are? Do I need to roll like a knowledge nature for that? (laughs) (laughs) He's not wrong. Look at that anchor that points north. So, as you haven't seen any animal that you know of with a gate this wide. It's pretty awkward. Though looking at it, it does seem to have a three talon with a side talon kind of gate to it. It doesn't look like it's a paw. It looks more like it's a claw. Uh, really I'd strange. Do you yeah, see what you're doing? I'll listen out, see if I hear anything. Bear sniffs something. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> uh, just refresh right now. Do it now and save yourself the trouble. Do you have to listen out for anything? Just hear Khan breathing next. You okay, um, Khan? You. He's just breathing normally, you just got sensitive ears. Uh, huh. I don't, I don't hear anything. Um, if some, if there are tracks over there, I guess you should probably, li- like, help me over there, Connor. See if I can help track that. Uh, Connor kind of uh, just gives like a double take at you. Like, are you crazy? But then he like, shrug, shake us over. Shake us over there. All right. I was about to Start suggest that forward. actually. Start inching forward. I'm gonna make yeah, another. Yeah. Sorry. I'm gonna make another spot check in the ground, looking for any other disturbances where I can hopefully find where the crabs would be. So what exactly is this? That is a compass. Is it now? Yes, it's so you know which direction is north oh. and south. Oh, okay. Because he said they're going south. Uh, but we're, we're okay. back. So, yeah. So, Bear sniffs this pile of colorful shit. What is that? Do you have oh, scent? Wait your turn. Croc, as you look through the landscape, you can see what almost looks like a snake slithering through the sand around these people that looks to be leaving from all their hands and moving in the same direction as where the footprints were going. What? <laughs> I'm hey, sorry. I don't, I don't like it that. looks like the marks the snakes would make in the sand <laughs> oh. leaving from where their hands were being <laughs> drug in the same direction <laughs> where the I thought she said a hand snake for some reason. I was like, wait, what? I can't even imagine that. I was like trying to visualize it. I was like, what? What? Visualize <laughs> someone's hand open and dead on the sand. Yeah. And, okay. and the sand next to it, the imprint of what looks like if a snake was slithering from their hand following the direction of the footprint. Was I hate Crystal. You remember that old guy talking about them giant lizards on this place? Yeah, I do. I think they may have had something to do with these bodies here, rather than the crabs. Hmm. Yeah, I think you might be right. What's it's going on, John? The imprints that you see looks like regular snake, or even rope. Who knows? I I didn't roll. This is my assumption. I'm just making sure you know it's not large snake. 
It doesn't have to be large. Okay. So now getting a better look at these tracks. Okay. Uh, can I just take me a little bit closer, see if I can see anything from particular? His eyes. Go. It's just, guys, it's all right. And he kind of like looks forward a little bit. He'll tell. <laughs> A little closer, but it don't be closer bother the tracks. Yeah. Okay, so I, I look through them. Would tracking mean I would... It's like the activity of tracking it, so I can only roll tracking if we're actively going towards it, or can I do tracking just to see where... I mean, obviously, they're going south, but, like, can I roll track and see if I could gain any more information about what's going on here? You can gain information without tracking it, not about it. Okay, yeah, like, <laughs> like, like, like the track thing, like whether it's, you know, dragging something or stuff like that. It would be following the tracks. It would only be following the tracks, okay. Alright, well, clearly these are going south. Um, that's all, that, that's all I, I would be able to glean with what the skills that I have, so... Are we going after this thing? Are we gonna put the crab thing on no. hold and, you know? <coughs> No, they're not our problem right now. Connor I looks, don't think it's important for now. Connor looks over to you guys and he says, Perhaps it's my better nature speaking, and far be it for me to be the one to be the voice of reason. I hate doing that. But if people are in danger, should we not help? <laughs> he looks over at the, all the box. There, there may there be survivors. I, think I hate to agree it. with you. Oh, no. Go ahead, Bear. If, if we don't find it, then maybe Mama Baba Duke will get killed a second time. She died? He gasped. <laughs> no. No, but I thought she did. So she died in my mind. Oh. oh. Looks over there. Well, no. Well, I, I agree with Connor, but I also agree with Kronk. We should put this on hold well, and also, come back here Also, these guys are clearly what looks like to be scavengers more than predators. Uh, how, how dead are these bodies? Uh, are all stabilized? Yeah. Connor would like to uh, move closer towards one of the bodies. And... Alright. Would it be a knowledge nature? Knowledge uh, stabilize? What, what, what would it be? It'll be stabilize? Mm-hmm. Real. Uh, they are quite dead. They are I'll now. roll one too. <laughs> I'll do it. Connor immediately stumbles backwards into the sand. Ah, oh, she's alive. Kill it with uh, fire. And as a you, false you don't know this, She's still alive. Um, Crystal, you uh, have to save her. Yeah. <coughs> uh, the the state the stabilize. What do I roll to heal her for that? That or B six? That's well, not for that. That was just checking her. What? Oh, the check. So do I roll another stabilize to, to heal her? Yes. All right, be lucky. Okay, good. <laughs> now it's a decent. Yeah. Connor picks himself and Anze back up. Sorry, <laughs> right. I, I'm a bit choppy at the moment. And then, so and for good as measure, you attempt to put her back into place. You pause as you bite the bottom of your lip. The damage and injuries she sustained is impossible for you to cure with just mundane field medicine. But has she stabilized her? (laughs) We should probably get her back to Tide, or just someone that knows better medicine than I do. Connor will look over to Crystal. Crystal, you have studied in the mystical arts of healing, correct? Yes. 
could you not do anything immediately while we perhaps take mm-hmm. her to town? I, I can go We're ahead and try. Stuff. Yeah, I can go ahead and try that. I don't know what it'll do, but it might she help her for now. Her bones begin to snap into place. The sound of something internal stitching itself back together as the magic of your staff begins to do its work and you watch as your okay. brain begins to regulate the threat of imminent death slowly beginning to stifle it off now. So, not okay. to tell, so notice itself, healing staff, very good for mending broken bones. <laughs> well, physical wounds in general. Physical wounds in general. <laughs> she should be fine for now, but we should still get her back to town. Quickly, are there other survivors nearby? We'll move over to this body. <laughs> I, I think she those checks the only are one that showed any sign. Looking at the body next to her, this one has an entire gape missing from the bottom of his chest up to just lower of his jaw. Looks like something took a chunk out of him as he spun around and died where he lay. He kind of uh, looks, starts to kneel down, oh. then sees what's there, and is like, uh, I believe he's dead. Terrible. Connor will kneel down and close his eyes. Say a quick right. prayer to him. He says, "Odin, watch you." Right. Okay, let's gonna gonna... do a search check. Searching what? See if he finds any other people. Um, <laughs> I would like uh, to do so yeah, as well. Go ahead, the crates. Just to see what kind of, like, what they were carrying with them, if there's anything of interest, like, on the bodies, or, like, around the area in the crates that are washed up ashore. Like yeah, why crates. do we never, um, like... Anything that was immediately there looks to be covered with a night's worth of, um, sand and um. seawater. You can roll a search check to... Well, at this point, the stuff lower down here would be a spot. You can do a search play, um, check on this pile of debris in front of you. Uh, I might be a little bit racist here, but correct me if I'm wrong, but Tobu don't usually have copper slash reddish hair, do they? No. Alright, just just wanted to be sure. <laughs> Going black stuff. No. <laughs> I don't know, it could be different. I mean, like, I don't expect to see black people with blonde hair in Africa, but it happens. Yeah, um, I look to the, uh, woman with... waiting on Kate's search. Oh. Mm-hmm. I wrote a 12. Didn't show up. I wrote a 12. Uh, it didn't, yeah, it didn't show up. So no, why not? Connor will search as well. <laughs> so with the 12, you go through here as you pull out what looks like... Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh. You roll it. Oh. <laughs> as you pull me. out a piece of what looks like shedded skin that easily is as big as you. Uh, it looks guys! Like it's not even the full thing, but it looks like it's just the part that came off. Guys, I think I found somebody's body. Um, Connor will approach Bear, and he will say, Can I see that bear? Look, it's a huge piece of skin! Um... I say shedded skin, it I- looks reptilian. It looks reptilian in nature. As far as Connor is aware, judging by like the skin itself and the condition that it's in, as well as like any patterns that may be on it, um, are there any species of reptilian creatures that he might know of that this creature could be? Go ahead and roll a nature check. Oh, it's nature. Nature. The natures. Bring up my care to shoot. What oh, natures. the natures. So nature. Nature, nature. By the way, has the red has the red haired woman stirred yet? She has not. She's unconscious. Okay. We oh, should probably nature. get her back to town as soon as possible. Yeah, I I I, sh- I should chime in on that. Yes. I agree with her. We should We should and stop she... we should stop with the crab thing. As and, you look uh, at this Connor. You mm-hmm. only can think of like tales and myths that skalds and great yarls told their people of giants.
giant creatures and monsters that walk with the gods and the Jotuns, the great dwarves oh, of old, shit. and things like that come to mind. <laughs> Gonna uh, being somewhat superstitious, but not quite heavily, he says, uh, perhaps going back into the town would be the best solution. Simul still, still haven't even gotten the leg we came here for. Uh, I know, we can come back for that later. This woman needs our help. Yeah, he looks at really, uh, Croc and he says, that is not the concern right now, Croc. Yeah. Have you guys seen Adze's leg? That's pretty concerning, too. <laughs> yes, Bear. Adze's yes, leg is concerning. But but I'm not going to die from this at the moment. Exactly. I'm not going to die from that. This woman needs medical care right this second. We need to take her back. Uh, discovering what happened along this beach and maybe warning the people in town may save brother lives. In fact, has anyone checked to see if we can find any remnants of their ship? See if there's any clear sign of uh, what? When you mention this, yeah. Connor will search around for so. Okay, so I guess I'll just come along with you. <laughs> Dang, good job. And I'll I'll look towards the south end for any of that other stuff. Yeah. You said that was a spot I'll for that. You begin to do the stuff. No, should I not yeah. go that far? I'd say you see yeah. a small flock of birds fly off in the distance accompanied by this sound moments after they go off into the sky. Oh, where are the birds? Where <laughs> coming from? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I know that Adze. sound! Fuck off! No! Adze, are you well? Adze! I didn't shake you. I didn't, says, I didn't what is hear going on? Adze! Why are you now from Jurassic what? Park. We need to go. <laughs> what? That's it. We need that to go. That sounds like go right now. Someone get that woman. We need to go right now. Fuck, I have my music down. What was the sound? I didn't have it on. It was... Have you ever no, seen Jurassic no, Park? No, he did. No. Okay. Have, okay. Oh, wait, you haven't seen Jurassic Park. Fuck. It was a, it was a, it was a roar. It was a roar. Yeah. Oh, iconic. Great. So it's iconic. But let's go. <laughs> We need to kill the ruin. Set this up. He's talking about killing the ruin and whatnot. You watch as the trees towards the west begin to stutter <clears throat> and shake as if they're starting to get broken through. Someone get the woman. We need to go now. <laughs> Bear, yes. can you carry her, Connor, please? Connor, I'll, he, I'll, I'll, Connor, I'll uh, carry her there. Like, yeah, we're going, Ante. He's dragging you, man. I, 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 can hold, I can carry the girl. Bear, you keep holding Adze. Yeah, Bear gets an so, awful yes, Connor, He starts Connor. like growling at the forest. Bear, Bear, come over here. We are going. Yeah, he says uh, perhaps it would be faster if Kronk and I both carry the girl at the same time. We can move quicker that way. Yes, and Bear, come over here. I need you. We need to go. Bear, attend to Adze. He needs your help. Bear back slowly towards Adze, still growling at the forest. Oh my huh. gosh, come Connor. over here. <laughs> Connor uh, makes like the sign of Odin as he goes closer towards the noise that Adze apparently heard. He says, let's grab the girl and go, Croc. Sit on my back, Adze. We All might right, have to stop. battle. No, what? No. We are running. <laughs> we are running there as I get as, as, as I get on your back. We are running. Do not go towards the sound. We're going away from there. Remember, if the, if the ruin comes out, you need to start <laughs> shooting. Bear, we are not <laughs> shooting We're anything. Not fighting. Can we grab the girl and go? <laughs> yes, please. Let's, let's go, Croc. That was that was the understanding, but this I don't want to have the girl on my inventory. How let's how go. much is the girl? Ash, can we carry the girl so we can leave? Yeah, she, unless you are completely over encumbered already before picking her up. No, I think you're no, sure. Absolutely, it's fine. Uh, I please. Okay, then go. we'll carry her. Leave. Oh look, I'm in the shield already. I'm sitting on there. You guys are just trying to like mosey on, taking your too much time, really, as you're yeah. too busy arguing and whatnot over a small thing. You watch the break. The moment you guys start to get 
a movement down as you just see <laughs> this creature there. standing at a hulking 30 feet tall. Oh, God. With about God. a 15 foot girth, break past the tree line, looking about, turning to see as you guys are like moving away from the breach as it just opens its shape. <clears throat> and then once again. Oh, great. God. Goodness. Bear, Goodness. hurry up. You're ready, I'd say. Uh, Bear. Bear. Is it running. just the one, or is it a pack? <laughs> it just looks to be one. Okay. You're kind of cutting in and out for me. Uh, that might have been my internet connection, but let's let's go. Uh, if we can. Show us four. Mm-hmm. All right. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, it... since we attempt to run away. As you guys quickly run from the scene, the creature is standing there looking to own its new location as it kings over it, making one final roar again as you quickly exit stage north. And with that, we're going to go ahead and take a break. (laughs) (laughs) We need to kill that ruin. (laughs) No, we don't. We're never never going to get anything done if we keep running away, guys. So, thank you guys for watching. We're going to be back here in about 10 to 15 minutes. So, get up, use the bathroom, get something to eat, drink. We'll see you guys back here in that time. Peace. We just saved a girl. Yeah. Anthony, we saved a girl. Okay, get or a woman.